You know what's the best part about making videos in your room by yourself is? It's the fact that uh, you only have to dress up top up, um, cause down here it's just nothing. Absolutely nothing. No pants, not even boxes, just... Yeah, just... <laughs> Alright, okay. Um, What's up everybody, it's your boy Jun, and I know it feels like it's been a little bit since I've made a video and I apologize, but today I want to talk to you guys about something that I've had to deal with for the past 22 years. So one thing that I want to ask all my lovely white people out there is, why are you guys so bad at pronouncing foreign names? And before we even begin, just because it's 2016 and everyone's hypersensitive about every little thing, I want to clarify, yes, I'm generalizing. Of course I'm generalizing. There's no possible way that every single white person or just white people as a race are all bad at pronouncing foreign names. Of course that's not the case. But for the topic's sake, I want to speak to white people as a whole and yes, any other people that apply to this situation. So, I mean, I encourage you to look at things from my perspective too. Alright, so let's get started. So yes, my name is Jun, and I actually don't have an American name. And that's just my Korean name directly translated into English. Just one thing to note is that my name is spelled a little differently. Instead of J-U-N-E, like the month, it's spelled J-O-O-N. And I guess for that reason alone, people, that leaves people clueless and just I genuinely believe that my name was like super complicated and I gave people the benefit of the doubt that they couldn't pronounce my name correctly. But now, I just can't help but think there's just a pinch of ignorance and the fact that some of you guys just don't bother trying. Ever since elementary school and even now in college, teachers and professors always had trouble saying my name and I never really got it. Whenever they got to my name, I've heard all sorts of names throughout the years. Joan, John, Jun, Joan. It's June. June, how hard can June be? Ask anyone who has somewhat of a hard name to pronounce and they'll completely agree and relate with this. You know it's bad when you had to memorize the kid that comes right before you in class on the roll so that when the teacher says his or her name, you can just kind of preemptively get ready and raise your hand and be like, yeah, I'm next. Like, And here's the thing that just blows my mind that I just can't wrap my head around. My name is phonetic. It's straight up phonetic in the English language. Do you realize how many words there are with the double O in between? For instance, just to name a few, so there's what? There's moon, there's poo, there's spoon, cartoon, baboon. You guys can say those words perfectly fine, but just because you put an Asian face to June and it's not spelled J-U-N-E, you guys freak out and you guys just hesitate like, uh, j j uh, j you know what really gets me mad are the people that have the nerve to ask Um, if your name is June, why don't you spell it J-U-N-E like it's supposed to be? What the? Why don't you just go die? But <laughs> really though, do you guys realize how ignorant of a question that is to ask someone? Just cause that's not how it's supposed to be spelled or whatever That makes it wrong? <laughs> so my full name is Jun Sang So if you translate that, it's Jun Sang J-O-N-S-A-N-G that's phonetic too. Sang is a word that exists in the language. And this really sad thing is, is that I had to create a little phrase ever since I was a little kid to help people pronounce my name. So I always tell people it's, hey, so my name is just June Sang a song. And people are like, oh my God, June Sang a song, I get it now. And you know what's messed up now that I think about it? So when I tell people my name is June, and once they learn it, it's fine, they say fine. But when I tell them that my name is Jun Sang, my full name, all my white friends just feel the need for some reason to say ginseng with a super thick white version of an Asian accent. <laughs> oh, hello, ginseng! Very nice to meet you, ginseng! Toy, ginseng! You racist mother One of my really good friends, he told me that after a certain point in his life, he completely changed the pronunciation of his name just so that he doesn't have to go through the hassle and trouble of always correcting people. Just because his name might be a little difficult to pronounce, why should he feel the need to cater and accommodate to them just so that they, he can make their life easier? Come on. That's the one name each person is given for their whole life. 
It's a beautiful, beautiful thing. And don't you think we as people should just have a little bit of respect for other people? Yeah, even if it's a little hard to pronounce, at least trying really hard to pronounce it the way it's supposed to be pronounced. I just want to let you guys know that, yeah, I understand it can be hard and it can be really tough to pronounce some names. I get it. Me too. But all I'm asking on behalf of everyone is that let's just put in a little bit more effort. You know what I'm saying? That's all I'm asking, just a little effort to really pronounce words and names the way it's supposed to be pronounced. It's not so much when people mispronounce our names or certain words that offends us, it's when people just don't even try or just play ignorant. Alright, well uh, that's everything for today. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Make sure you guys like, follow, and share, and until next time, see ya.